How much do Huawei staff researchers make? What's the question again? <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to Huawei Decoded, a series where Huawei employees answer questions from the internet. Today we're in Paris, and I'm joined by Etienne Filo, who is an AI research engineer at Huawei. Thanks for joining us. Hi, Zach. Thanks for inviting me. So you yourself, you work on something called MindSpore. Um, what is Huawei MindSpore? Huawei MindSpore is a deep learning framework developed by Huawei. Uh, it is designed to be flexible, efficient, and scalable. So can MindSpore be deployed, for example, like on a mobile phone? Yes, of course. There is also a light version of MindSpore which can fit in smaller devices because your phone or your smartwatch don't have the same memory and computing power as your laptop, for example. So this version will be able to scale smaller computing units and then give the best out of it. That's cool. Is MindSpore open source? Yes, MindSpore is open source. MindSpore is used by more than 5,000 companies in different industries like finance, uh, manufacturing, healthcare. What's the difference between training and inference? So training is like when you're a kid, you want to walk, but you don't know how. You will crawl on the floor first, you will try to get something on some tables and then you will try to stand up, you will fall. No one can walk directly for the first time. Normally you will not do this mistake again. You will try to iterate, you will change the position, you will try to stand up in a different way. So this is experience and learning. This is what the training does. Then comes the inference. The inference is like when you're an adult, you want to take meaningful decisions so from your experience and the learning from the training phase you can tell and you can sing should you cross the red light is it a good idea might not be that's cool so I was looking into your background and you work in what's called the Paris distributed parallel technology lab that's a mouthful yeah. what does the lab actually do uh, our lab is, is focused on using advanced computing technologies to solve complex problems of the real world and also perform code and computing with higher speed and scale. Okay, now switching tack here, I have a question, but it's also a little personal. Okay. Are you ready for this one? Yeah. Okay. You have to answer. We'll see. <laughs> <laughs> okay. How much do Huawei staff researchers make? What's the question again? <laughs> <laughs> I think you heard me just fine. Okay, uh, let's go to the next one. Um, is Huawei a good company to work for? Yeah, of course. If not, I, I wouldn't be sitting there. <laughs> good point. Yeah. Yes, Huawei is a good company to work for, uh, for its global presence. Yeah. Everywhere around the world you can find Huawei devices which show the renown of the company. There is huge R&D investment for cutting-edge innovative projects. So knowing that you will work for the top of the tech or maybe the tech which will be used in the future, not maybe right now, is uh, something I like a lot. <laughs> well, that's really exciting, man. Um, it was great talking to you. I really appreciate your time and thank you. Thanks. Yeah. And for all you guys watching out there, if you have any questions for Etienne or for Huawei, just let us know and we'll maybe address them in the next video. Thanks for watching. <laughs>